We add some difficult sloping piping and it seemed to work out okay. I know when you get into a real project, you can have real situations where you really need to slope pipe, but it's gotten a lot better. So let's drill into a couple different sanitary type situations. One is a floor drain and one is a roof drain. So let's deal with it now. Now I want to go down to my enlarged men's room. I want to put a floor drain in here. Usually we see them right about here, right? Or maybe they're out in the middle. Doesn't really matter. Let's go to systems. Let's go to plumbing fixture. I want to click my drop down here. Let's see if we've got anything. M floor drain round. So I'm going to come down to scroll down a little bit. I want to grab my 150 millimeter strainer with my 100 millimeter drain. I'm going to select this. Now notice it wants to go on a wall. Please don't do that. What you want to do is on the placement panel, click place on face. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now remember, we won't be able to see this if we don't edit our view range. So if you keep putting in floor drains and you can't see them, the reason is your view range isn't set to look below this level. Okay. Now this is going to take a section. I'm going to cut a section horizontally. So I'm going to click on my section. I'm going to cut this horizontally. I'm going to open up my horizontal section. Zoom in here. I'm going to set my detail level to fine. I'm going to select my floor drain. I'm going to click this button here. I'm going to make sure we're sloping down. I want to show the tool tip. I'm going to come down and I'm going to go out of my building. A problem with that is a lot of times we don't have a trap built into it. So I'm going to delete the piping I just put in and I'm going to draw in a makeshift trap. So I'm going to select my drain again. I'm going to click this button, but I'm going to turn my sloping off for now. I'm going to turn my little pitch sign off right now. I'm going to come way down. I'm going to come over, way over. I'm going to come way up. Now I'm going to turn my slope down, show my slope tool tip. I'm going to slope it down. Now, that's a ridiculous trap, I know. I over-exaggerate it because I know I'll be able to do it. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to select this, click on Move. I can move it on over as close as I can. I'm going to select this and this and my fitting. And I'm going to click my Nudge Up button. And I can nudge it up. I can select just this. I can nudge this up. This is a little high, so I can select this and I can nudge it down to the point where I can select my pipe. I'm going to keep dragging it, but make sure you maintain that pitch. So when you're dragging your pipe, you want to make sure you're going parallel. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. All right, now let's go up to our roof. We don't have a roof. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our south elevation. I'm going to select my level two. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to create similar. I'm going to come all the way up to my roof level. On my draw panel, I'm going to click on my pick lines button. I'm going to select my roof level. I'm going to drag this out a little bit. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to select level three and rename it to roof. Hit enter. Yes, I'd like to rename corresponding views. Now what I'd like to do is I want to go up to my roof level. Okay. Wow, the architect pitched the installation for us. It's helpful for location, but it's not helpful for placement. Let me show you why. I want to go to insert. I want to click on load family. I want to scroll down to plumbing. I want to go to MEP. 
I'd like to go to fixtures. Of course, I'm going to drains. I'm going to grab M roof drain. I'm going to click open. Now what I'd like to do is go to the systems tab. And for some reason, it's not allocated as a plumbing fixture. So I'm just going to click the component button. The problem is we have it set for vertical face. If we click place on face, it looks cool, but this thing is sloping ever so slightly. So what we want to do is we want to click on place on work plane. So I'm going to click on place on work plane. Now I'm going to put it right here where the architect wants it. I'm going to, of course, cut a section through here. So I'm going to click on my section button. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to double click on my section button. I'm going to set my detail level to fine. And we'll see that we're below the roof and the insulation. So I'm going to select this now. Now I can force an offset. So I'm going to push that up about 102 and hit enter. This slip wants to be under there. Maybe I'll go 150. There we go. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. I'm going to select my roof drain. I'm going to click on my create pipe. I want to slope down, so I'm going to come straight down. Come all the way down. And it looks like the architect wants me to use their chase here. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go out of the building. Go to your 3D view. You have it in there. I'm going to set my 3D view detail level fine. Here we have it. Now, remember, when we're getting into BIM and clash detection, your sloped pipe has precedence over everyone else. Keep that in mind.